Hi, my name is Jackie and welcome back to my channel. It is day 17 of my Tease the Season series. There we go. Time for Adagio Teas. Kinda wish they would've put some unflavored teas in here, but we'll see what's behind door number 17. Okay, I am actually happy about this one. I'll make an exception for today. I was almost thinking about not drinking this today and going for a cup of Assam, but we have Earl Grey Bella Luna. The full moon is on the 29th, which is when this will next to be available, so if you've not tried the Earl Grey Bella Luna, or if you just really love the Earl Grey Bella Luna, it should be coming to you on December 29th. But let's go steep this up. Like I said in a couple videos ago, I almost never turn down a cup of Earl Grey. It's very comforting. And it is actually one of the teas that I like to turn to in the wintertime, probably because back when I first started drinking tea, I started drinking tea in college, and so semesters usually took place in like the cold months. So I just, I just associate it with that period of my life, that time of my life. It makes me feel really nostalgic whenever I drink it. So the ingredients in this are black tea, coconut, blue corn flowers, natural coconut flavor, natural bergamot flavor, and natural cream flavor. And um, I mean, it just tastes like a coconut cream Earl Grey. I'm assuming coconut because when you cut it in half, it looks like a moon. I don't really know. What I do know is I do enjoy this one and I do have a big tin of it, but I don't find myself reaching for it that often. Just whenever somebody mentions the Earl Grey Bella Luna, I'm like, oh yeah, and then I go and dig it out of the back of my cupboard. If you're an Adagio Tees fan, have you tried this blend yet? Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. It is time for day 17 of the Tea and Me advent calendar. So we have some Tea Forte samples and we have an Earl Grey, which of course I will probably love as well as a green mango peach tea. So, since I already started my day with some Earl Grey, I guess I'm gonna go with green mango peach. I don't think I've ever had anything from Tea Forte before, so. I feel like I'm just sort of meh about this one. I didn't know going into this that there was gonna be mint in this, peppermint in this blend. And not that that's necessarily a bad thing. For me, that's just basically all I taste. It, it's, it's like, Peppermint with like almost a lip balmy green tea. I don't think I even taste the fruit in this. It's supposed to be mango and something else and I just taste like a minty green tea. And so like a minty green tea is totally fine but like expectations in reality don't really match which is why I'm just sort of meh. Ooh, I am so excited. I just got a tea delivery. And today we are talking about Happy Turtle Tea. So Happy Turtle Tea has been on my radar for several months now because they are a company that does fandom slash geeky inspired teas, which if you've been around for a minute, you know I adore. Let's take a look at what I bought. So first, uh, they included a handwritten note thanking me for my order, for my support. Also included was this little tea flavored hard candy, a Jack Skellington and Zero sticker. And we have two samples. Uh, this one is a Ninny Muggins Pie, which is a blend inspired by the Christmas movie Elf. And it appears to be like a fruity tea infused with like cloves and cinnamon. And then we also have Bebe, it's cold outside, which is a Schitt's Creek inspired blend. And I am so excited, I love Schitt's Creek. That is probably one of my favorite shows. There's a lot in here. I don't even know how to like capture the flavoring in this one. It's a Sencha green tea and a Darjeeling tea blended together. And then like flavoring and spices that I think are maybe gonna mimic a poached pear. That's the best that I can come up with. Oh man, and I steeped up one of the teas and it is just making this entire room smell amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. First. I picked up some Doctor Who inspired blends. We have a blend called the Seventh Doctor, which looks like it's gonna be like a vanilla lavender infused Earl Grey. Then we have the Warp Hotel, which looks to be like a rabus blend with cranberry and almonds and then like warming chai type spices. And then we have Bad Wolf, and I really love the artwork on this one. We got Rose and then the TARDIS with Bad Wolf written on it. This one looks like green tea, jasmine, lemon peel and and malo malo so probably i think malo in part sort of like a creamy flavor to teas at least in my experience next we have eleven's ego which is a blend inspired by the tv series stranger things and this looks like it's going to be a fruity blend with like 
white chocolate flavors and maple flavors. Next we have Winnie the Poor. So this looks like it's gonna be poor with ginger, honey, and lemon flavors. We have Mother of Dragons, which is a blend inspired by Khaleesi from the Game of Thrones. And this one looks like it's going to be a dragon fruit and floral infused green tea blend. That's cute, dragon fruit for a dragon inspired blend. Next we have two blends inspired by the TV show Supernatural. So we have Wayward Sons, which is a blend inspired by Dean and Sam Winchester. And this one is black tea, ginger, lavender, and sage. And then there's Where's My Pie? And that's uh, that's uh, Dean Winchester eating a slice of pie. It's gonna be like a fruity, creamy, spicy black tea. Cranberry and raspberry flavored. I have two superhero blends. We have Golden Lasso, uh, which is Wonder Woman. So we got some DC. This is a blend of honey bush, fig, apple, candied pineapple, candied papaya, lychee fruit, cactus petals, dwarf everlast blossoms, an edible pearl dust. And we also have Forged from the Stars, and this is a Thor slash The Avengers inspired black tea. And this one looks like it's gonna be like a chocolatey black tea. Then we have Hail to the Pumpkin King, which is a blend inspired by The Nightmare Before Christmas, and this looks like it's gonna be a pumpkin spice blend. Then I picked up Most Ardently, and this is a Jane Austen inspired ribis blend, and I've actually, I've never read anything by Jane Austen, so. I think I probably just thought this sounded good. It looks like it's a rooibos honey bush blend with chocolate flavors. Then I have mint chalky chalk, which is a Mandalorian inspired tea blend. It looks like it's gonna be like a mint chocolate chip flavored black tea. Next we have black cat white shoes, which is a blend inspired by Jack White. And I really actually quite like Jack White and White Stripes. I haven't listened to them in forever. Uh, I wouldn't call myself like a super fan or anything like that, but the blend sounded really good. It looks like it's gonna be a um, chocolate vanilla flavored Earl Grey. We have Remember Your Floaties, a blend inspired by the horror book slash movie it and i actually i kind of got this with my husband in mind because he's like he's been really obsessed with the new it movies this is like a strawberry and cream flavored pour tea with mini marshmallows and red balloon sprinkles and that sounds that sounds amazing for start but also just like really cute i mean as cute as the movie it can be next we have night in the glittering caves which is a lord of the rings inspired blend this looks like a vanilla bourbon flavored black tea and then i picked up a few harry potter blends so we have gnome saliva uh, which is a blend inspired by luna lovegood this looks like it's going to be lemony floral and creamy it, it includes rose sugar so rose flavored sugar that's that's interesting we have madame puttyfoot's house blend this is going to be like a floral like a floral peach vanilla blend with sugar hearts in it. And the blend that I'm actually trying today is Everyone Loves a Yule Ball. And this is a blend of black tea, cinnamon, lemon peel, clove, coffee beans, dried oranges, natural flavors, and gingerbread infused sugar. And here we go. I don't think the black tea is very prominent. This one is very flavoring forward. It actually reminds me a lot of hot cinnamon spice from Harney and Sons, which I would describe the same way. Um, I don't think the black tea in that blend is very strong. It's very much cinnamon flavoring forward, but this is sort of that sweet, spicy cinnamon flavor, maybe like big red gum. And the coffee flavor is like really subtle, but it just adds this nice earthy coffee element just sort of on the back of the tongue at the end of the sip. I like it. And I think if you like Carney and Sons Hot Cinnamon Spice, you'll like this one too. I'm really excited to try her other blends. I think she has a lot of fun elements in her blends, like the flavored sugars and the sprinkles. I am, of course, a sucker for sprinkles and tea. Like I said, I think 2021 is going to be the year of the geek for me, so I just... I really look forward to diving into her blends, hopefully sharing some with you. So I'm just plugging away on payroll today. I have Christmas movies streaming in the background. You know, the cheesy like romantic i won't even call them comedies because they're not funny but i just finished watching ugh, it's kind of cringy it's pretty cringy christmas inheritance on netflix <laughs> not my favorite um but now i'm gonna dive into the next call me sweetie blend all right <laughs> I might actually skip ahead to Plum Deluxe because we have the Yuletide Greetings Black Tea. And I already sipped this blend a couple of days ago. This was in the Tea and Me Advent Calendar. All right, let's dive in. 
Ooh, I'm excited. We have some banana bread dessert tea. This one is a blend of honey bush tea, cocoa nibs, cinnamon, apple pieces, calendula, and banana and chestnut essence, and as usual, love and gratitude. So overall, very nice. I Do I really notice that much of a difference between the honey bush banana nut from Adagio Teas versus the honey bush banana nut from Plum Deluxe? I think I prefer the Adagio Teas blend. It's a little bit sweeter, a little bit more banana-er, but this is still very pleasant. And that brings us to the end of this video. I have to run out the door and go pick up Oliver for his speech therapy appointment. I'm really hoping that, that those are done soon. I think he's, I think he's almost where he needs to be. So let me know what teas you're drinking today, whether they are part of an advent calendar or from your own stash. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.